See if you can go. Well, Alexandra, I uh, think we can begin. Yes, well, it is a rather <laughs> paltry turnout. Now, by proxy, the board has approved the minutes of the last meeting and the agenda for this one, so I think that we can begin. As you know, I initially came to Springfield to look after my ailing brother. But when I got here, what I found severely distressed me. Alan on his sickbed was as difficult as ever, and stupid, too, being hoodwinked by the charms of a gold digger. Alexandra, you are out of order. Oh, no, Alan, you are out of order. And Philip, you're even more of a disappointment. You used to be so kind and, and tolerant. Whatever happened to that great guy who gave his ex-wives generous amounts of Spalding stock to take care of them? That was the mark of a true gentleman. But you've become petty and, and cold. So cold, in fact, that you are trying to keep your own son away from his mother. On Alexander, you, you really might want to get all the facts before you make judgments. Yes, well, I just have one more thing to say to both of you. Philip, don't be stupid enough to give stock to people whom you've mistreated. And Alan, dear, <laughs> you don't know me nearly as well as you think you do. Right, so we will now vote to see if Alan Spaulding remains the CEO of Spaulding Enterprises or if I will take his place. Per the corporate bylaws of this company, any family members, past or present, may vote, providing that they hold the requisite amount of votes. Now, thanks to my generosity, a few more family members have finally gained that threshold. So, won't you all please join me in welcoming the latest voting members of the board, or as I fondly like to call them, the Ex-Wives Club. Mm -hmm. 